Thailand's new prime minister has outlined plans to tackle problematic economic issues. Petun Tan Shinawat delivering her maiden policy speech in parliament. CNA's Saksis Sambat reports from Bangkok. A whirlwind of policies were promised in the maiden policy speech by Thai Prime Minister Pei Tong Tan Shinawat to Parliament on Thursday morning. What we got was at least a whirlwind of policy announcements of what the government wants to do in the next three years. The list of announcements include short-term measures such as debt relief for individuals as household debts account for around 90% of Thailand's GDP. Another key policy is the so-called digital wallet, where about 50 million Thais could receive a one-time handout of 10,000 baht or 375 US dollars. This was the flagship campaign promise of the ruling Per Thai party and it has been repeatedly delayed. Now we could also see a staggered soft launch beginning as soon as this September. In the medium and long term, Ms. Perantan and her government want to tackle a range of challenges, especially the economic ones that are hampering the true potential of the country. และความเสมอภาคทางเศรษฐกิจและสังคมของคนทุกกลุ่มอย่างเท่าเทียมอินคลูซีฟเนส empowerment it was a carefully scripted speech, but then again, so are all Prime Minister policy speeches. However, they also signal a continuity of the economic focus of the previous government of Prime Minister Seta Tawisin, who was removed from office almost exactly a month ago. And it is this disruption that the opposition People's Party are bemoaning in their rebuttal, saying that essentially in the past 12 months, nothing has happened. ไม่มีประชาชนอยู่ในมัสมการการตัดสินใจ Parliament will continue to discuss the government's policies until late Thursday night before concluding the debate on Friday. The Thai government wants to demonstrate a sense of stability and continuity, but this comes after a month of political mayhem that not only saw Thai Prime Minister Seta Tawisin removed by the Constitutional Court, but also the opposition move forward party, the predecessor of the People's Party, disbanded by the same court. And it is that volatility and this vulnerability by political parties to a legal challenge from outside of parliament that raises anxiety and skepticism whether or not the government of Prime Minister Patrick Tan Shinawat will stay long long enough in government to actually fulfill all the promises that they have made here to Parliament today. Saksitsa Sombat, CNA Bangkok.